Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to add this TidyCal booking system on your WordPress website. So this TidyCal system allows people who are visiting your website to book your services just by clicking on the buttons here. We display a calendar system. So this calendar system is actually connected and synced to Google Calendar. So once someone makes a booking here, you will receive it and it will be displayed on your Google Calendar. So with this booking system, you can either receive payments via PayPal or Stripe. And you'd also receive a notification when the booking has been confirmed. So I'm going to show you how to add this on your WordPress website. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to just to make sure that you've set up all your booking types. Once you log into your TidyCal dashboard, this is what you will see. So these are the booking types that I've created. You can basically set up the different booking types based on whether you want to receive payments or not. So this is the option where you actually charge for the event. You can set up what the event is about, the actual duration, the padding, and which days are available for this event or booking. You can ask questions here. So in my particular case, if since I'm providing one of the services is to pr provide our website SEO order report, I'm just asking what the website is so that when I actually receive the booking, I can actually generate the report based on that information. So you can create multiple bookings here. I've created one for testing and you can actually turn this off if you don't want, it, don't want it to be shown on the actual booking page. In order to view your booking page, all you have to do is click on this link, view bookings page, and this will show you all the bookings that you've set up. So at the moment I've got four bookings and this is the page that I wanted to show on the actual WordPress website. So let me go back and show you some of the options that are available when you create a, a, a booking type. So these are the actually paid bookings. There's also ones where you do not have to charge for the event, which are free. In my particular case, I've set them all up to charge. You can select this option to embed on your website. You'll be given a HTML script where you can actually copy and paste in your WordPress website. I haven't used this option because I wanted to actually show the booking page rather than the each individual bookings types or booking events. To quickly show you the integrations that are available in TidyCal. For syncing your calendars, you can actually connect with your Google account, Office 365s, and it appears that in the future you can add your Apple accounts. So that's coming soon. I've already connected my Google accounts. So I've got multiple Google accounts and I've set one of them as the primary calendar where all the calendars from the bookings will be synced to. Just got to make sure that reading is enabled and you've got to make sure that it's set as the primary calendar. You also have the options to select which service you want to use for the online video conferences. The options that are available is basically Google Meet and Zoom or a studying link in case you have other tools that you want to use. I'm using the Google Meet since I'm already using the Google Gmail system and Google platform. In terms of payments, as I mentioned before, you've got the PayPal and it's easy. Just set your PayPal email address and Stripe. You just got to put in your keys here, your publishable key and the secret key. There are instructions available from TidyCounts in order for you to add these. And there's also other automation tools using Zapier. So those are the integrations that are available. I'm just going to go show you next how I've actually added the booking page to the WordPress page website. The next step that you need to do is to add some code into your WordPress page that you want to use to display the bookings page from TidyCal. 
So I've already created a page called Book Me. And this is the block that I'm using. It's a HTML block. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to add that block. So click on the plus. You can go browse. And then this should be custom HTML. Select that block. So you can write your HTML code here. And this is the actual HTML code that you need to put in. The thing that you need to change is this URL. So in my particular case, we're adding an iframe into this booking page. The URL that I'm using is basically the one that was displayed on TidyCal. And then you just add the width 100% so that it, it displays it full width. In terms of height, you can play around with this depending on how many bookings you're using. And then just set the frame border to zero so it's not displaying an actual border around the iframe. And that's it. So once that is added, you can save it and preview it. Now, because I've got the code twice, it will show the bookings page twice. So there you go, so there's twice. And that's how easy it is. Just got to make sure that you only using it once. This was just an example to show you how to add the actual code. So I'm just going to go back in there, delete the other code. And if you see it this way, that's not how it actually displays on the front end page. So what you can do is you can actually edit this or remove the block. I'm just going to remove the block because I've got it set up twice. And that's it. Just update it and then test it on the front end. And that's it. I hope this video helped you in some way. If you're looking to use TidyCal, I've put a link in the descriptions where you can actually go there and purchase it. You can also check out my tools page on my website. I've put a link in the description for that as well. And you can actually see TidyCal here, which is one of the tools that I use. Just go there and then just get TidyCal. Once again, if this video helped you in any way, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and make sure to come back as I'll have more videos to show you guys.